Hi there, this is Kevin Knebel in beautiful Monument, Colorado, and thank you for taking a few minutes out of your busy day to tune into the Schweiky Media Business Bill Booster webinar series video. In this video today, I'm going to be talking briefly about how to use uh, Follow Friday, which is a feature that a lot of people who use Twitter really don't quite have an understanding of, uh, or maybe they understand it high level, but, they're, but I'm going to show some ways that you could use Follow Friday or hashtag FF to um, grow your Twitter list and also to grow more engagement. So right now, you are looking at my Twitter account, my homepage. So one of the things that I do, and I, I dig into this in some of the other videos in this series, so if you have not watched the video on uh, my daily habits that lead to Twitter success, I would start there because some of the things I talk about in there are about how to look at people that are engaging with your content, with your tweets on a daily basis and to acknowledge them and to publicly thank them, which results in greater goodwill, more, more views, more likes, more shares, more retweets. It results in good things. If you understand that basic concept, a lot of what I teach in my business revolves around what I refer to as my pay it forward business model. Now, we're, we don't have enough time in this webinar today to get into all the nuances of what that means, but from a high level, it just means paying it forward, doing the right thing, and trying to help people, and basically what I call spreading the love, not being negative, not being a downer, but keeping it on the on an upbeat kind of thing, not that you're a Pollyanna, but most people have enough crap in their life, and they don't need any additional stress from you or me. So I tend to keep my messages pretty positive because they have enough negativity without me adding to the mix. So what happens on Twitter is that on Fridays, there is a thing called Follow Friday. All that means is, let's pretend that today is Friday. Today is not Friday, but let's just pretend that it is. If I went up here and I wrote hashtag, which is the number sign, FF, and it could also be FF lowercase. It really doesn't matter, but most people do it uppercase. Once I do that, I have now created a hashtag in my tweet so you probably know, and if you don't, now you do, that when you go on Twitter and you go into the search engine, anything you type in the search engine, Twitter is going to search over 300 million Twitter users worldwide for any use of that word. So let me give you an example of that before I go any further. If I type the word Austin in here and I hit search, it is literally going to search every single tweet there's ever been on Twitter for the use of the word Austin it's also going to find me anybody whose name as a Twitter account user is Austin, and it's going to do this in chronological order just going back in time. So you can use Twitter as a search engine for any reason. Now, if I put a hashtag in front of Austin, let's say I put a hashtag or a number sign in front of it, and I hit return or search. Now it's going to search every tweet there's ever been on Twitter for anybody to put a hashtag in front of that word, which becomes a very, very powerful tool in terms of monitoring news items, monitoring sporting events, monitoring almost anything that people want to have some kind of thread related to that particular subject or title or whatever. So using hashtags strategically is, is a really simple thing to do, and it's a really effective thing to do. Well, the whole Follow Friday thing has really – created over the years its own hashtag. So hashtag FF. If I put that in there and I hit search, it's going to pull up every single tweet that has the hashtag FF in it. So you're going to see that all over the place, okay? So what this is, on Fridays, many people on Twitter do what I call pay it forward. They publicly encourage other people to follow specific people. So if I wanted you to follow a specific person, I would create a tweet on Friday that starts with hashtag FF, and then I would put that person's name. Everybody's name starts with an, an ampersand. So JDF Jem, um, JD Jem. This is my good friend Jonathan Christian in Vancouver, British Columbia. So I know his, I know his Twitter name, JD Jem. So if I click on that, it goes into the tweet. If I wanted you to follow my friend Andrea Vall, who's one of the top Facebook speakers and trainers in the world, I could do that. If I wanted you to find follow Kelly Mirabella, who is another 
awesome, awesome, only she goes by Stellar. So what you have to do is you have to put in the person's um, – I'm trying, I, I'm trying to do this while I'm talking, and I'm forgetting the, the name she uses on Twitter. You get the basic point. Basically, I'm putting in the person's name after the FF. And if I were to send that out, then all of the people that are following me, all 11,800 people, would see that in their news feed that Kevin Knebel is basically promoting that other people should follow these people. I'm sure you guys could basically get this. This is a massive compliment because what you're doing is you're – you're informing your followers that they should follow these other people. If these people have any brains whatsoever, and they do, a lot of brains, a lot more than me, they realize, wow, you know, he's promoting me to his entire network. So when you tell people to follow somebody, that's a huge compliment to that person. So let's think about this for a second. How do we use this strategically? Let me take a sip of my water. When I use the word strategic, I in no way mean insincerely or manipulative or slickly or salesy. There's nothing that I teach that is in any way rooted in anything other than sincere, authentic, honest, heart-centered communication. So please do not read into what I'm saying. This is all about being slick. Not at all. But if there are certain people that I would like to deepen a relationship with, a very easy way to pay it forward is to promote them to my followers on Twitter on Fridays. Now, there's another way that I do this, and watch what I do. I go into my notifications tab on Friday morning, pretend it's Friday morning, and I go back seven days. So in this example, I'm pretending it's Friday morning, which means seven days ago would be Friday, the, the previous Friday. So if today is September 2nd, then seven days ago, I mean, just for the sake of time, let's just pretend seven days ago was August 29th, okay? I go back to August 29th. Here we go. And what I do is I look for anybody that's promoting me to their Twitter followers. How would I know it? Very easily. I can see. This person favorited a tweet, but that doesn't mean that they promoted me. Now, if I wanted to create a deeper relationship with these people, I would hashtag FF and put their name after it because it's, it's going to show up in their notification folder that I did that. They are probably going to think very well of me. So I'm, if I'm going to look at the people that are favoriting, that are commenting, but I'm specifically going to look for the people that are taking my tweets and promoting them out to their network. Here's an example. LNB Connectors. These people put out a daily, uh, like, newspaper, and they promoted me. So what I do is I use Hootsuite here. I just use Hootsuite, and if you haven't watched the Schleiky video on Hootsuite that I created, go watch that one. But I do the FF, and what most people do is they just put the name of the person after that. I actually take it to another level. What I do is I actually go, FF, gotta love these tweets. Tweets meaning like tweeple, like people. So give me a quick second. Let me just get my, my smiley face here. So I say, now, again, I'm not saying you have to do this. You might not speak that way, and that might be really weird for you, but this is the kind of way I talk. So for me, SF, got to love these tweets. So not only am I saying follow these people, I'm even saying, hey, man, I love these people. Again, use is directed. Your results may be different than mine. Object and mirror may be closer than they appear. Don't try this at home and all the other no, normal disclaimers. So I'm now using a combination of Twitter and Hootsuite. So I can look at Twitter and I can say LNB connectors promoted me. I go back to Hootsuite. I put in the at LNB. It automatically finds the LNB and it, it Auto populates it. I go up a little bit more. Who else is promoting me? KK Jula is opening up conversations with about me. KK Jula. I promote them. Meanwhile, Hootsuite is telling me I have 85 characters left. I go, who else is promoting me? Uh, promoting me. Wondrous Tribe is promoting me out to their followers. Well, then I should probably thank them and tell my people to follow them. And what I'm doing is I'm just basically spreading the love. A couple more examples. Let's find one. Um, bo, 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 bo. Uh, this person retweeted me, SEO Marketplace. Notice how when I put my cursor over SEO Marketplace, it shows me their title. 
or their 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 uh, handle at SEO eighty eight market. I go back to Hootsuite, ask SEO eighty eight, and it auto populates it. Let's do one more. I say, who else is promoting me right here? Gene G is promoting me, and he's thanking me, and he's sending out my picture and all that kind of thing. He goes by E F G, so E F G E E. So you get the idea. And then what I would do is I would send that, okay? So you would see that I'm actually sending that out to my followers, and all of these people who are mentioned in the tweet would see in their notification folder that Kevin Knebel was talking about them. If you go back, and I can show you this for real, if we go back to my news feed, my tweet, my tweet feed, and we go back to Friday, which was a couple days ago, I will show you evidence of exactly what I'm telling you. On Friday morning, let's go back in time. Let's go back to Friday. On Friday morning, and you can see I tweet a lot. So we have to dig back a little bit here. But you can see, here it is. This was Friday, August 28th. So on Friday, you can see I started here, and I filled up all 140 characters, and then all 140 characters, and then all. So what are you really learning from this? Well, if you have your thinking cap on, you're realizing that there's a lot of people that are retweeting and resharing my content. That's why they're showing up in my follow Friday tweet. All of these people, 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 all of these people. Do you think these people feel better about me because I have promoted them to my network? That would be a real easy question to answer. The answer would be yes. So, again, I know this is a very brief webinar on behalf of Schweiky Media, but if you ever study the things that I teach, if you learn from either from me being on stage or through some of the products available on my website or my coaching, everything I do is rooted in creating, nurturing, and deepening relationships. It's one thing to have a lot of followers on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. It's a whole other thing to have followers that engage with you, do business with you, and refer business to you. There's a lot of people out there who are like in almost a social media popularity contest. You know, I just want to get more followers. Well, no, not really, because if your content sucks, or as it says in the good book, sucketh, it doesn't matter how many followers you have. I would actually prefer fewer followers but higher engagement among my followers than massive amounts of followers and I'm still broke. I would much rather go for the ROI. So don't be enamored by numbers. Be enamored by engagement, and engagement is a $5 word for conversation. The people that are engaging with you are the people that ultimately are going to do business with you or refer business to you. So as a recap, I'm showing you how to use Follow Friday to create, nurture, and deepen relationships with whomever you would like to deepen a relationship with on Twitter. I'm specifically using the people here that are retweeting my content, but you could effectively do this with anyone. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope you've gotten a couple nuggets from this webinar on Follow Friday. Just real quick, my name is Kevin Knebel. I'm an international speaker, author, uh, trainer, and executive coach. I'm based out of Monument, Colorado, but I speak all around the world on a weekly basis on any particular day. I could be in Sydney, Australia, London, England, Austin, Texas, San Francisco, Panama, wherever. Uh, I help individuals and organizations significantly grow their businesses in terms of leveraging old-school, high-touch relationship sales and networking skills married with new-school communication platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, if I can help you in any way, I'm happy to do so. And please feel free to go to kevinknebel.com, K-N-E-B-L, really looks like it needs another vowel, and click right here to subscribe to my weekly newsletter with lots of tips to help you both professionally and personally. It will also give you access to over 30 minutes of my uh, LinkedIn Ninja tips, and that would be a gift from me to you. And I want to say if I can ever help you in any way, I'm as close as the phone or email, please feel free to reach out to me. I give you my word as a gentleman that I will help you. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch this webinar in this series from Schweiky Media Business Booster Webinar Series, signing off from beautiful Monument, Colorado. Have a great day, and God bless.